So, what's the story? What happened? What happened? Snake came, killed my turkey, tried to eat an egg, and he caught him this time, fortunately. Uh, but, but how do people get your number? Oh, it's everywhere, mate. You can just Google some of the snake rescue. So we just got a call from uh, from Guy and then the snake in the garden. And, uh, he ate like a turkey. So we just went here and Phil took care, but it was done in one minute anyway. So it's all good actually. So yeah, excited really. I'll show you. I don't know what I filmed, but I will show you this. But you see when people have the chicken, you hear them. Animals like that, you cannot really protect them because they smell anyway. And if they come in, they kill. Yeah, so on the last minute, we had a snake, you know, I was bitten twice in the last two days, but not the cobras, but uh, some other beautiful creature. Didn't hurt at all, still doesn't hurt at all. So, hmm. snake rescue somewhere. There's a, there's a turkey, he killed okay. a chicken, did he? Yeah. Don't get bitten, please. I'll try not to. How professional you can be, eh? <laughs> that was an easy one. <laughs> So, yeah, I feel <laughs> So that was easy. <laughs> He's killed one of the okay. chickens already. Bye -bye. Really? Yeah, they're quite protective though, over their eggs and babies. So, mm. you see, your chickens are pretty protective over their eggs and babies, yeah? The chickens are quite protective over no, the. Oh, he, he, he killed my, my male turkey. Oh, the turkey? Yeah, oh. and the male turkey was alone in the cage, so oh, it's yeah. nothing to do with the, with the chicken. Yes. Okay, so we're at the snakes now, yeah? yeah? So, what kind of snake do you have here? Uh, a baby reticulated python in this one. He's probably from last year's... Um, um, this is a beautiful, beautiful snake. Of eggs. Eh? Yeah, he's gorgeous. He's a really nice... Oh, he's a bitey. They're, they're quite bitey. <laughs> but you're not scared. <laughs> it was all right when I first caught him, actually. But they just get light again, you know? Like, yeah, yeah he's, he's, he's not happy about being woken up. These are nocturnal, so... They're active at night time, not daytime. So that's why it's pissed up. Yeah, yeah he's don't just, wake me up. He doesn't want to be woken up, mate. Well, he's he's not. He's probably maybe a few months, five six months maximum. But if it bites you, yeah. But, 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 oh, nothing. It's no problem at all, mate. It bleeds a lot, but that's it. <laughs> yeah, but no, and like you, you know, non-venomous, just constrict as these guys are. And at this size, they're not really dangerous mm. unless you're a rat or something. But they're beautiful, but man. They're gorgeous colours, eh? And patterns, beautiful. Yeah, their eyes, yeah, oh their eyes, orange eyes. Mm, wow. Real nice, man. Wow. But he's particularly nice, actually. He's very pretty. Snake, Keep it. In the meantime. Phil's wife, Lei, is doing a daily round to feed the animals all around the area. So it's around 200 dogs and then I asked her to follow her for a day. So I did. So the coming time you will see what she's doing and how she helps the dog in the Lamai area on Koh Samui. Today we go to the temple because we're going to feed dogs. Yeah, really funny because we meet some friends. I know from Kopangat and her husband. The snakes, yeah. So if the if you have a snake in the garden, you call her husband, and then you come to pick up the snake. And she is doing taking care of two other dogs. So we're gonna follow her today. Lei, a really special character with a heart for animals and especially for dogs. She goes daily on around 14 locations, feeding around 200 dogs. That now the sound of a motorbike already when she comes. All the dogs get hysterical, and she's one of a kind. A really good person. That two dogs. Uh, normally have owner, have people take care, and now people live from Kosamui, leave them, and no how, no food, and sleep in the road. Is that uh, because of COVID, yeah? Yes, that COVID coming, many people move from Kosamui, some people take a dog, some people leave the dog, you know, mm. really upset. And now uh, no people take care, no food, no house, sleep in the streets, and very bad, you know. After this, if we go to a temple, 
uh, after this, yeah. we go to Jiangko. To the jungle, yeah. Jungle, see them. Oh, there are many dogs there too. Yeah, okay. a lot, a lot of dogs down there. Yeah, and, and you bring them food every day. They know you, of course. Yes, you know me. You know my cycle. Yes, yes, yes. The sound already. <laughs> Hello. Okay, so so you you people give you this food to 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 give to the dogs, or you buy yourself, or a I mix? buy it and cook it. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And then people donate also sometimes. Some people donate. Yes. Okay, that's good. We have a sponsor also. Good. Good. Hello, hello. Okay, say hello. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. We go to a tour. Long what am I? Eat the dog, no how, no food, and we shake care of them, okay? Okay. Okay. Dam dam, dam dam, and cow cow. There's no people take care of them. But they don't look very skinny. Yeah. Because you feed them, yeah? Yes. No people take care of them. No how, no food, sleep in the road. But you find you find them like really skinny before? Yeah, very skinny before. No, no people keep some food really? for them. Oh, 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 oh. 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 This chicken. So you make like chicken soup and yes, chicken for the taste, soup. yeah? Yes, fly chicken. But no bone, no bone. Yeah. Come on, this way. Dam, dam. Dam, mop. Sometimes you're hungry, sometimes not hungry. Sometimes a uh, uh, Come on. Look at Come on. Good boy. Better too much than not enough, right? Yeah, sometimes some people get some food. Hmm? Uh, uh, when when you we need food, we go lay down in the lot. Is <laughs> 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 it my house? <laughs> Mm. Okay. Smells good, eh? Cow cow, no one. Cow cow. Come really in a look. Yeah. Okay, so and you, you have more, obviously. You just told me you have more, yeah? But be careful, eh? Yeah, yeah I don't have to tell you, of course. Yeah, this one, um, <laughs> we've got a king cobra. Again, this is only a young one as well. Not an old one. So I have to be a little bit more careful than uh, than I just I think he's now. wrapped up in the bag actually. Okay. I won't, I won't just get him out there this time. Stand by for it. Until he's released, I won't take him out. Oh, he's in the bag. Wow. He's in the bag. He's in the bag. But if it bites you, you die again. Oh eh? yeah, you're in big big trouble, mate. So this oh. is a king cobra, baby. It's a young one, yeah. It's not an old snake. This one, it's quite small. It's about two meters. Uh, well, see, it's already a good size, but for a king cobra, that's actually quite small. Hmm. It's it's over there somewhere. Ooh. Yeah, man. See the tail, the pattern's on the tail. Yeah. You can hear him? Yeah. 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 I don't know, his head's up there somewhere. Oh, the, head. the head's up there somewhere. Oh, yeah, hello. Hello. hello, good morning. Oh, hello. hello. Yeah, man. But it's not, now it's not, his head is still, right? So. Yeah. Hmm. Well, it's not a muse, obviously. No, no, they don't like being messed with at all, mate. You know. Well, uh, when we release him, we can get him out and have a look at him. Hmm. Yeah. Well, keep him in there for a little while. Right. This is the longest species of venomous snake in the world. Mm. They can get up to six meters. King cobra. Yeah. yeah. The biggest one I've seen is about five, just under five meters, like four point eight, four mm. like that. But you're talking about that sort of thickness. Yeah. yeah, yeah. When they're standing up about this high, when they stand up.
What do you do? Yeah, you face a cobra. What do you do? Uh, freeze, mate. Just stop. If you're quite close to him, just stop and then back away. Obviously, check your six that you yeah. don't trip over something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know from experience. From it, as long as they see you making an effort to back away, mm. that's all they want, mate. And yeah. The sooner you get away from them, the better. And as soon as you go, they'll just and off they go, mate. No problem. Okay. That's but they're not advice. going to chase you down. They're not going to attack you. Mm. If you start going towards them, mm. yeah, making yeah. any threatening moves, then yeah, you, you, you're going to get bitten, basically. Just call so, Phil. Just, yeah, man, stay away from them, back <laughs> off, give them plenty of room, mate. As long as you give them enough room, it's they'll it's do it's the same, mate. Okay. They're, they're not interested in conflict with humans at all, mate. Mm. I mean, they look at us as a huge predator. Of course. You've got to imagine, although we think that's a big snake and it's potentially dangerous, mm. they, you imagine what they think of when they see us. Sure. A huge primate coming mm. after them. It's like, oh, my <laughs> God, what the hell's that? <laughs> and if it comes anywhere near me, I'm going to bite that thing. Sure. And they're right. Yeah, yeah in, their, in their area. I mean, well, most of the time, yeah, the, 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 their experience probably of humans isn't good one, mate. I mean, mm. most people will try and kill them. Sure. I mean, you know, it's one of those things. I mean, they don't know that I'm trying to rescue them and help them. Sure. As far Can as that blend. snake knows, I'm trying to kill it. Sure, and he's sure. going to defend himself as that one did. Mm. Unfortunately, but yeah, they, they don't mean you any harm at all, mate. As long as you, look, you know, give them a, a wide berth. Danger, snake. <laughs> yeah. This snake is run over by a motorbike. Oh, it's only a small oh, one. Eh? Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, really small. He's been hit around about this area here somewhere. Mm. Uh, or might have been here. Under it, yep. But you see, he's not acting right at all. So he's put, yeah. putting his head upside down. Said. Look, see, look at that. Yeah. It's not right behavior, has not mate, at all. I think he's probably damaged the spine. He's got some sort of nerve, nerve damage. He probably doesn't make it. Well, it's, he, he could recover. I've, I've actually seen them recover. It takes a while, but I've seen him recover before from things like this. Mm. As long as he hasn't done too much damage to the internal organs and things, because mm. his heart's around about here as well. He's just shed, actually. And it, it's a shame, really. Oh. See, normally he'd be biting me now. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. A python the size straight away, bang, yeah. bang, biting me. Yeah, and he's just, see how he's, see his head, mm. the movement? It's just not right yeah. at all, mate. He's definitely got some sort of neurological damage from the you know spinal injury, I think. Sad, huh? Yeah. How long is this, man? A meter, two and a half? About two, two, yeah, about two and a half meters. But again, that's only a fairly young snake. Mm, but it's a beautiful. I mean, snakes are beautiful, man. It's a piece of art. Well, he's, he's, he's a lot nicer, actually. But if you see, he's shed his skin and he yeah, hasn't yeah. shed very well mm. because he's not really in a, a good environment for shedding. Actually, it's a little bit. I did put some water on him, mm. but he's still a little bit dry. And they normally use rocks and things to mm. push against. Mm. And then they get a knife. It's like taking a sock off like that. But it's just not right at all, mate. No, you could. Eh? See, that's not right. Yeah. You, shouldn't, you shouldn't be able to even do this with a retake, mate. They bite you mm. immediately. As soon as you go in, S bending up. Wham, wham, wham. Yeah, yeah. Said, huh? And you big boy. I might change your, change your box today, actually. Get you into a clean box. Huh? Huh? I'm sorry, mate. Yeah, it's still an animal, you know? But you never get the chance to get so close to snakes like this. So. No, man, Thanks exactly. Thanks for, for letting me film this, man. Mm. I say I've seen, I've seen them recover from worse, mate, so there is always a chance. Yeah, see what happens, yeah. But Give more, it a chance. Yeah, because yeah, often what you find is if, if, it's, if it's too serious, one day you open the box up and he's just dead. Yeah, you just, yeah, don't, you yeah, just okay. don't make it, mate. So it's, it's just, and there's not much you can do about that. Mm. There's no vets here that can work on pythons yeah. this is the longest species of venomous snake in the world mm. they can get up to six meters king cobra yeah. yeah the biggest one i've seen is about five just under five meters like 4.8 4 mm. like that but well, you're talking about that sort of thing yeah, yeah, yeah. when they're standing up about this high when they stand up what do you do yeah you face a cobra what do you do uh freeze mate just stop if you're quite close to him just stop and then back away obviously check your six that you yeah. don't trip over something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know from experience. From it, as long as they see you making an effort to back away, mm. that's all they want, mate. The yeah. sooner you get away from them, the better. And as soon as you go, they'll just... Boop, boop, and off they go, mate. No problem. Okay. That's a but good they're not advice. going to chase you down. They're not going to attack you. If mm. you start going towards them, mm. yeah, making yeah, yeah. any threatening moves, then, yeah, you, you're going to get bitten, basically. Just call so, Phil. Just, yeah, man. Stay away from them. Back <laughs> off. Give them plenty of room, mate. As long as you give them enough room, 
It's They'll it's do it. the same, mate. Okay. They're not interested in conflict with humans at all, mate. Mm. I mean, they look at us as a huge predator. Of course. You've got to imagine, although we think that's a big snake and it's potentially dangerous, mm. they, you imagine what they think of when they see us. Sure. A huge primate coming mm. after them. It's like, oh my <laughs> God, what the hell's that? <laughs> and if it comes anywhere near me, I'm going to bite that thing. Sure. And they're right. Yeah, yeah in, their, in their area. I mean, well, most of the time, yeah, the, 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 their experience probably of humans isn't good one, mate. I mean, mm. most people will try and kill them. Sure. I mean... You know, it's one of those things. I mean, they don't know that I'm trying to rescue them and help them. Yeah. As far Can as that snake knows, I'm trying to kill it. Yeah, and he's yeah. going to defend himself, as that one did, mm. unfortunately. But, yeah, they, they don't mean you any harm at all, mate. As long as you, look, you know, give them a, a wide berth. Danger. Snake. <laughs> You want to put the snake back, what do you look for? What area you look for? Well, as close as we can to the actual rescue site. So this is only, I mean, it's not even a quarter of a kilometer, really. Um, we've got a nice river. We've got lots of bamboo, which king cobras like. So that's what they need, yeah? So you yes, look for a place uh, where they can survive. Basically. It's ideal, mate. There's no other houses around. There's no roads around. There's no human habitation. So hmm. I think we're good here, mate, yeah. Just gives them a nice neutral place to start. I mean, obviously, they can go back and end up wherever they want to. They Same house? Them. Yeah, he can go into the middle of the mine if he wants to, but this just gives them a nice neutral place Restart. to start. Yeah, it's exactly what they need, really. Yeah. Okay, let's do, right, let's do it. Let's do it. Ooh. Nice to sit in there, nice and cold. Eh? Oh. The tail. Oh. Whoa, we are. <laughs> Hear the hissing? Get him to come and turn round and hug up on me. Hello, like sweetie. If you wave your arms in front of me, let's just hug off. I think he just wants to escape, mate. Of course, why don't you let him go? Yeah, you ready? There we go. Bye. Yeah, gone back to the real world. It's not killed by anyone, it's released by Dr. Phil. Hey guys, I want to thank you very much for showing me around, and uh, it was great to catch some snakes and learn a lot about snakes. And thank you, and, uh, and you got a bite. Yeah, only two, so that's pretty good. Snake bites and a dog bite. Yeah, and pretty thank good. you too for showing me uh, your your good work for the dogs. And uh, I hope people will understand that the dogs on an island like this need to eat. So if you want to help, if you're on the island, uh, you can contact me or them. I leave under in the screen, I leave uh, the information. More than welcome to help. Come over for a day or two and just, uh, you know, volunteer. So guys, thank you very much for uh, be, being your guest, and I really enjoyed it. Welcome, welcome, and I do, you know, welcome to Maria. Well guys, that was an interesting day. Uh, we catch some snakes today, we did feed some dogs today, and what is better than ending the day with a good campfire and moody dogs. So, this is Kofferman, tune in, like and subscribe, and see you at the next episode.